Basilosaurus is known as the King Lizard. This giant prehistoric whale had a sleek, eel-like body, which is unusual for a whale. This giant measured up to 65 feet long from the tip of its head to the end of its tail, but only weighing in the neighbourhood of 5 to 10 tonnes. Some paleontologists speculate that Basilosaurus not only looked like but swam like a giant eel. However, some remain sceptical about this. Regardless, one thing everyone agrees on is that this creature was huge. Studies have shown that Bastosaurus had a smaller than average brain, hinting that it may have been incapable of pod swimming behaviour, something that you see in modern whales. Some paleontologists have suggested that due to its brain size it may not have been able to use echolocation. Bastosaurus can't lay claim to being the largest ever of its breed. That honour belongs to the blue whale which can grow to over 100 feet and weigh up to 200 tonnes. But at 65 feet, the middle Eocene Bastosaurus was certainly one of the biggest prehistoric whales that ever lived. This whale was a carnivore. Scientists have studied this whale's jaws and teeth, and have discovered it probably had an enormous bite force. They found that this whale could bite down with a force of around 2,300 pounds. Paleontologists believe it probably feasted on large fish, and small whales and probably anything else it could have gotten a hold of. Piecing this giant creature together wasn't easy. Nearly 50 years passed before a scientifically accurate skeleton of Basiosaurus could be collected and mounted. George Brown Good, curator of the Smithsonian US National Museum, dispatched assistant curator of invertebrate paleontology to Clark County, Alabama, where remains were so abundant that farmers were using bone fragments in their stone walls. Basilosaurus fossils had been discovered for decades, and were being used by residents of the southeastern US. At the time, no one knew these artifacts were actually the bones of a long extinct prehistoric whale. The Smithsonian's fossil whale skeleton was the first accurately assembled Basilosaurus ever mounted. From the material that was collected, the skull of one and the pelvis and vertebra of a second animal were selected to form a composite skeleton of Basilosaurus which was then cast in plaster. The mounted plaster cast was first displayed at the Atlanta Exposition in 1895. When it returned to the US National Museum, then housed in the Arts and Industries Building, it was suspended from the ceiling of the Natural Histories exhibits. The original fossil bones were displayed underneath the mounted skeleton in several cases. Today, the Smithsonian's Basilosaurus is the only real mounted specimen on display in the world. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.